All right, my chubby acres followers. I wanted to show you my monarch butterfly setup since I've started again for the season. This time of year when you raise monarchs, instead of them living four to six weeks, they actually are gonna survive and go on the winter migration. So that's one of the reasons I choose um, August, early August, because their migration is in mid-September. So I'm gonna go through and show you my setup. These are actually all of the containers that have monarch eggs in them. And I try to um, just harvest the eggs because once they're large enough caterpillars, they're usually going to be able to make it on their own um, in nature. So just trying to give you guys an idea of the size of the caterpillars when they're about a day or two um, after hatching. So you can barely see those tiny little guys, but there's one there and one there. So hopefully that's coming in on the video. Try to focus that. And then for those of you guys that have been asking about what the eggs look like, that's probably a pretty good example of an egg. So you can see they're very tiny little pearl-shaped eggs. And I'll try to show you another one here. Try to pick that up so you guys can see. So that one I think you can see a little bit better. So see that tiny little oval um, pearl-shaped eggs. And if you look at them really closely, they actually have little striations. Let's see if it won't focus on my finger. For whatever reason, can't get that to focus again. But they have little striations when you um, take a look at them. There we go. And that is a monarch egg. So that's what you're looking for on the milkweed when you go out. Put that in there. So these guys in here are just a little bit older, so I'm not able to see any right now. So as they get a little bit older, I put them into the containers here and usually only one to two per container. And then once they get a little bit older, we put them in kind of the juvenile monarch butterfly house. And you can see that one there chewing away at the leaf. You can see another one right here on the other side of the leaf poking his head in and then another one up there so there's about five or six in there right now and then when they get larger they go into here and so this is actually where they're going to form their chrysalis which is their cocoon um, and this one right here is probably about the size um, where he's going to be pretty close Let's see if i can get that to focus a little better but it does not want to so you can see that one's huge. And then you can see that guy up there on the top. So he's probably gonna be moving into the J form, which is the next step. And then they go into a chrysalis. For those of you guys that are thinking, well, I can't do that at my house. It's too much work or I don't have time or I don't have milkweed by my house. I wanted to show you guys um, in Michigan even, one of the really, really easy steps that you can do to support monarch butterflies that really requires no work at all. And it's actually transplanting, um, purchasing and um, planting one of these guys. So um, most of the milkweed in um, Michigan will work, but the three big ones are the butterfly weed, uh, milkweed, the common milkweed, which is what you see on the side of the road, and then the world milkweed. Um, and um, world milkweed actually is um, one of the coolest because they have some pretty cool white little flowers. And these ones actually um, came from a wild type uh, plant nursery, which they have a couple public sales a year. So you should check them out. And that's their website there. If you guys can see that, I can post it as well. Um, but take a look at this one. So this is one that I had actually just purchased. And I want you guys to go through and see. And now I didn't do any doctoring. I literally just purchased this plant. And we've got one two, three, if you can see him through the leaves there, that little guy. 
four, four caterpillars on this plant. And I, all I did was just pick it off of the um, lot. And you can see that guy on the other side there, same little guy, but just different. So you can see that this is definitely a very, very popular plant for the caterpillars. And um, they'll actually stay on this plant and feed until they form a chrysalis. Um, you can see this guy, see how many stalks this guy has here coming off. And you can see this guy has done a number to this twig and has eaten down quite a few of those leaves. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys some tips. I hope this helps. If you have any questions about raising monarchs, please uh, message me or comment below and I would be happy to help you. Have a great rest of the summer and thank you for following.